I've been doing a series and it's called real estate is the ideal investment. Last week I talked about I for income and D for depreciation is one of the great benefits that you get when you get in, into real estate because the government gives you depreciation write-offs. In other words, the government says that the property is going down in value, even if it may be going up in value. Imagine that. And there's actually several ways that you can depreciate your property. So one is called the straight line method. And that means if you had a hundred thousand dollar purchase on a property, you would take out a certain amount for land and then you take the balance and you do what's called a straight line method of accounting where you would write off that balance of the property of 27 and a half years. Well, the great thing about the street smart system, one of the things I teach is that the tax code also otherwise gives you the opportunity to do something called componentized depreciation. So in a home, a home is made up of component just like a vehicle is made up of component parts. So in that vehicle, you've got the engine and you've got the tires and you've got the steering wheel and you've got the windshield and you've got all these different parts to the vehicle. Well, those component parts in a home would be the plumbing, the heating and air conditioning, the electrical, the roofing, the carpentry, the carpet, the flooring, all of those different parts and components of a home are depreciable over a much shorter period of time than 27 and a half years. So the tax code allows you to take a piece of real estate and actually componentize it and write it off over the lifespan of those component parts. So for example, carpet can be written off over five years, just five years. So instead of writing your carpet off over 27 and a half years, which is a lot of CPAs actually tell their clients to do, they take off the amount for land, they take the balance, maybe eighty, ninety thousand dollars and spread that over 27 and a half years. Well, imagine that there's many different component parts that can actually be written off over seven and 15 years and the balance can be written off over 27 and a half years. So what that means is that you can accelerate your depreciation. That means that you can have a concentration of depreciation early on in the acquisition of the property. You concentrate that depreciation. What happens is that you have an amazing opportunity to have a whole lot of write-offs. And when you have a whole lot of write-offs, you can use those write-offs to offset your ordinary income. So if you have a job, if you have income from other sources to be what's called ordinary income, you can take those losses, that depreciation, and you can offset your ordinary income. And for some people, that means you can literally zero out your taxes. And for some people that can actually mean that you have excess depreciation. That means you have money left over, <laughs> losses left over that next year, the year after up to 15 years from now, you can take that excess depreciation and offset ordinary income in future years. So that's one of the reasons that we feel in real estate is the ideal investment. So next week, I'm going to cover the next part of the, uh, the ideal investment. We're going to talk about equity, equity buildup in your properties. So hopefully you're...